Hey guys, it's Craig here from GeekTech.ie back with another video. It's been a while since I've had a chance to get any video reviews done, so I'm hoping to get into a better routine and get more videos done on a weekly basis. So just bear with me over the next couple of weeks as I get everything ready, and I should hopefully have more videos on a regular schedule. But today we are taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is the latest flagship from Samsung, where it mostly takes up from where the S6 left off last year. A very similar design with only minor changes, but we do have some very nice specs to go with the new device. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to check out other videos on the S7 Edge, which includes some camera quality tests, gameplay performance, and like always, you can check out the full review on geektech.ie or with the link below. Now onto the device itself. We have a very similar design, as I said before, with the same glass front and back with the metal frame around the sides. And yes, the glass is still fingerprint magnet, so pretty much keep that in mind. We have the traditional Samsung layout with the uh, volume rocker on the left, power button on the right, the dual tray sim, micro SD slot is on the top with one of the microphones, and we have on the bottom a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB, other microphone, and lastly the speaker on the right side. On the back of the device we have these new slight curves which pretty much add for a much better grip and more solid feel over the previous Galaxy S6. It just basically makes it feel much nicer in your hand. The phone's thickness is now 7.7 millimeters, which means that it's just under one millimeter thicker than the previous Galaxy S6. Samsung obviously needed the extra room to fit the bigger battery and internal water resistance. And yes, we mean internal. Basically, there's no external flaps, so your micro USB and headphones don't need to be protected. So you still have your water protection at all times and you don't need to worry about flaps falling off or anything like that and it will keep it safe from the water. If you love the S6 design you will definitely love the S7 design. It's mostly the same with a slightly thicker body but all the changes that we've seen have been mostly for a better grip and for the added features. This is definitely by far the best we've seen from Samsung and we're glad that Samsung took the time and engineering to get the expandable memory internal water resistance back which are the S6's biggest drawbacks. Thankfully the S7 has that same beautiful design we loved with the S6 but without those drawbacks we have a slightly better feel and grip to it and importantly the micro SD uh, slot is back and we have internal water resistance which is a big deal so we're greatly appreciated of the design. It's one of those designs that you can only appreciate when you hold it in your hand and get to feel it yourself and get to look at it. Videos and pictures they really don't do these types of uh, designs any justice. But yes, missing features from the Galaxy S6 last year were a big downside for it, and thankfully the Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge does not feature those same mishaps. So performance on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge comes from the included Exynos 8890 chipset. Phones in other regions will be rocking the Snapdragon 820 chipset from Qualcomm. However, the model we have here in Europe is the Exynos version, which is a little different than what Samsung have done in the past. It's only uh, the opposite. But the one we have is the octa-core CPU with a quad-core 2.3 gigahertz and quad-core 1.6 gigahertz processors running with four gigabytes of RAM. We also have the Mali T880 MP12 GPU. And since Samsung haven't changed the the resolution of the display we uh, have no doubt that uh, performance will be top notch which was uh, pretty much as expected from the get-go the display is thankfully the best we have seen from samsung but honestly it doesn't really offer much over the previous flagships like the galaxy s6 or s6 edge plus and um, also because um, those displays were amazing as well brightness colors and sharpness are all perfect and offer the best performance we have seen on a smartphone now like we've said before with flagship devices the galaxy s7's performance is pretty much way more than what it needs to be and and it offers a completely smooth experience and handles everything we've thrown at it. And everything has been perfect. As you can see, running through TouchWiz, it pretty much operates as you would expect from a flagship device. The included 12 megapixel camera, first, it seems like a downgrade, but without getting the whole megapixel count isn't everything, it's important to note that this camera is by far the best we have seen from Samsung, but also the best we have seen on a smartphone. It offers something over the competition and extremely vivid shots, bright colors, and one of the best phase detection focusing we have seen. This is thanks to the dual pixel design that uh, Samsung have implemented which is normally only available in high-end cameras like DSLRs and such. The S7 Edge is truly a fantastic camera and you can definitely check out some of the shots on the on the site just to get a better idea and we also have the videos on the channel 
which will give you a better idea of the uh, quality that this camera provides. Low light is also greatly improved thanks to the 1.4 micrometer pixel size, much larger than previous Samsung devices and really shows with those important low light shots, which are um, in some cases with a lot of cameras, especially even previous Samsung uh, phones have been terrible. Video recording allows for 4K videos, HDR, dual video recording, 60 frames per second, 240 frames per second at 720p. You've got all those cool kick-ass functions in there and the fantastic camera app is back, something that I commended the Galaxy S6 Edge and the normal Galaxy S6 from last year. So real photo enthusiasts can save raw photos and get much better control over their camera app that pretty much gives you the best possible outlook of a phone's camera and since this phone offers a fantastic camera it's great to see those functions back as well lastly battery life this is one of the most outstanding features that we've seen in a device that included 3600 milliamp battery has not only gotten us through a full day of heavy usage but managed to do so with 40 percent left it was actually around 43 percent this includes some heavy gameplay and a lot of calls text emails good bit of netflix and youtube all those general stuff that we do i have no doubt with some small changes and even dropping the game play a little bit you could easily get two days full usage out of this device without any issues so in conclusion has samsung managed to offer something that's actually worth upgrading to be it from the s6 or any other device that's currently on the market now straight up if you bought the galaxy s6 edge or edge plus or whatever then clearly you weren't really peeved by those missing uh, expandable memory or lack of water resistance which were in the galaxy s5 before it so basically it's not a huge deal to you you don't really miss them because you know you were willing to buy a phone that didn't have them that being said, the S7 still offers some great improvements. General performance is amazing and can handle any task that we've thrown at it. Everything was completely buttery smooth. The display is bright and vivid and sharp and overall looks the best we've seen. Not much over the Galaxy S6, but still, it's definitely the, one of the best we've seen in the market, if not the Galaxy S6 and the Note 5 pretty much go tone tone in that regard. The camera, that's pretty much where everything gets taken up to a huge notch because it really does push the boundaries of what a smartphone can offer. Samsung nailed it with the camera. It is definitely one of the best we've seen. So we're very, very uh, pleased with that. But more importantly, the most important feature that I, I really want to stress here is the battery life. This has been something that, you know, phones over the years haven't pushed the battery life on these devices. I mean, they've gotten thinner and smaller in, well, in general terms by smaller, I mean thinner, but you know you haven't really seen do much in terms of making sure battery life was the important factor and something they cared about but samsung did they made the device thicker to fit a bigger battery now obviously they did it to fit other things as well we got rid of the camera bump well most of it anyway because they made it bigger but more importantly they fit a bigger battery at 3600 milliamps this is the most impressive feature on this device simply because it made the device last nearly a two full days of usage. And that was with the always on display. So yes, I have to commend Samsung for making sure that they did everything right. The chipset is obviously clearly very efficient and lasts extremely long. So overall, the Galaxy S7 Edge is the best smartphone currently available. It definitely ticks all the right boxes, beautiful design with water resistance, best display and camera we've seen, buttery smooth performance throughout everything and long lasting battery life. These are the things that a flagship smartphone should be and the Galaxy S7 Edge really is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please do hit the like button. Also make sure to check out our other S7 videos on the channel. We'll also have some cover reviews coming up shortly for the S7 Edge and the S7 itself. You can also check out the full written review on the site, which gives you a better look at the UI and stuff like that. I know I went through it quickly in this video, but it'll give you a better idea of what it has to offer and how it looks, including the camera app, which is a better breakdown of it there as well. So yes, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Peace out.